Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge, and welcome to Sheltered 2. Yes, we are back in the bunker with the sequel to the wonderful Sheltered, and I think the idea of Sheltered 2 is pretty much more or less the same. The end of the world has happened once again, and we find a nice bunker to live in, which is all very good indeed. So we need to build stuff in the bunker, we look after our survivors, we go scavenging, we defend ourselves, all that kind of stuff, but I think it's a bit more faction based this time around. We have our own faction, and there are other factions out there doing what we're doing, and I imagine we will happen across them at some point as time goes on and then we'll have to deal with them when we meet them but yes I'm very excited to be back with Sheltered. The first one was great I really enjoyed the original so let's hope we can have some fun with the sequel. It's on Steam right now as always there is a link to the Steam store page in the video description below and we were given a key to this by the publishers so thank you publishers that's very kind of you indeed. Anyway let's get on with it shall we let's pop over to the nuclear wasteland and see what's going on. Okay so in terms of difficulty settings we're just going to play with the default options so normal difficulty moderate shelter resources and occasional breaches that sounds fun and now we have to set up our faction and we get to design the flag I never knew we got to design the flag of the faction that's all very exciting I knew we got to give them a name I kind of was aware of that but I didn't know we got to design their flag thingamajig okay right this is all very exciting there's many colors there's all sorts of different shapes and things we can have and the flags all different look at that all different sort of background colors okay right so let's give our faction a name give them a little bit of a bio and make a wonderful flag. There we go, that's better. I much prefer that. So we are going to be known as the Keepers of the Tea, because of course we are. And the bio kind of goes a little bit deeper into that. So the bio says, a tea lover, despairing at the lack of tea drinkers in the apocalypse, creates a faction to unite the lovers of tea, and together they shall embrace the tea and also drink quite a lot of it, because it's nice, particularly with biscuits or some lovely cake. So I like the idea that there is this one person wandering about the wastelands who really likes tea, and everyone else he happens across doesn't like tea. So we decide, you know what, no, this isn't right anymore. We need to set up a little group of people that love tea. So there we go. The Keepers of Tea are formed and the flag sort of represents this. So we have kind of, you know, Geek Cover corporate colours. The blue is like a tablecloth, if you like. And the circle thing here represents a teapot, but viewed from above. So, you know, the roundness of the teapot is here. And one of these things is the handle. And one of these things is the spout. And these three circles represent three cups of tea. Because I believe we start with three people. I think in the original Sheltered, you start with a family. I think in Sheltered 2, you start with three people. So there we go. That is what the flag is representing. It's representing a teapot, a lovely tablecloth, and three cups of tea, which I think works quite well. So there we go. The keepers of the tea are ready to go. And here we go. Lovely people, please allow me to introduce you to the leader of the keepers of the tea. It is, of course, Betty Cupboard. That's right. Betty is back. So Betty was one of the characters we had when we played Sheltered. But alas, I think she died, didn't she? She died down in the bunker somewhere. So this is all happening in some sort of alternative timeline. Sheltered 2 is not happening in the same world as Sheltered because Betty in this world is very much alive and she looks the part, doesn't she? She looks like she absolutely means business. She's wearing some very good army boots. She's got some jeans on. She has a trusty leather jacket. She's got some shades. And most important of all, she is wearing a very, very good hat. She's got a cowboy hat on. I mean, look at that. Look at that. She knows what she's doing, does Betty. She's very, very good. But yeah, you can change quite a lot of stuff. You can change their body and skin colours. You can change their eye colours. You can change their faces a bit. There's quite a few hairstyles. There are some accessories. So you can you know, have different face wear and hats and such like. There's quite a few different things you can change for clothes as well. And then, of course, we have stats and traits. Okay, so in terms of stats, we have strength, dexterity, charisma, perception, intelligence, and fortitude. Now, they do look a little bit similar to the stats from another post-apocalyptic game, but no, they're completely different because there is no endurance, and of course, we have fortitude and not luck. So no, they're a completely different, unique set of stats, absolutely. So yes, for Betty, we've gone for this particular mix here. So a strength of two, dexterity of four, charisma of five, perception of two, intelligence four, and a fortitude of one. Now, you might be looking at that thinking, hang on a minute, a fortitude of one, that looks a bit rubbish. And fortitude manages maximum health, radiation resistance, and how long an illness lasts. You might be thinking, well, that's terrible. That's not very good for a leader. But worry not, we have ourselves some traits over here. So you can sort of pick these traits and you have to balance them out so you end up with no trait points. And we have unbreakable. Betty is completely unbreakable, which means she is going to start with a guaranteed maximum fortitude of 20, which is brilliant. So she's going to have that up to 20, which is the maximum it can be. So she's going to have maximum health, a load of radiation resistance, and illnesses are not going to bother her at all. She's just going to absolutely brush off any illnesses, which is amazing. So that is very, very good indeed. And then the other stats I think are about right for her. So a strength of two is okay. 
that affects carry capacity, unarmed damage, and then a choice of melee weapons. We will try to not get her to go and do melee stuff. We'll try and give her a pistol or a shooty gun or whatever. Dexterity of four, that's quite good. That's above average. So uh, yeah, that's turn priority in combat, chance of blocking or dodging, and what ranged weapons can be equipped which is quite handy. Charisma of five. We want this to try and be quite high because this is where we can go and be friends with people. And I like the sound of that. So chance of successfully recruiting strangers, very handy. Chance of creating positive relationships and a chance of getting cheaper trade deals. That could be very handy indeed. Perception of two, it's a little bit low, isn't it? So that's, um, that determines how many items are located when you go and do searching. So if we do go and do some searching with Betty, she might not find a load of stuff. So maybe if we do have to send Betty out, we might want to pair her up with someone who's a little bit better at that. And yeah, it takes her a little while to disarm traps. Intelligence of four, so anything she crafts is very, very good. And then yeah, fortitude is going to be increased by this trait. And then also, uh, she has a thin skull. Now that's of course because her brain is so big that her skull has got to be a little bit thinner to accommodate the brain. So there we go. So that's why she has a thin skull, of course. And the uh, effect of that is the character is affected by the day status effect for an extra turn. I'm not quite sure what that's all about yet, but you know, hopefully it won't be too bad. And she's got idolized. I think this could be very handy. Characters will always get a positive modifier from conversations with the leader. That's got to be a good thing. If we can improve morale by just getting people to go and have a chat with Betty, that cannot be a bad thing at all. So there we go. Betty is ready to go. So now I think we need to go and look at the other two people who are part of the Keepers of the Tea. So faction member number one is Bernard Cupboard. Of course it's Bernard Cupboard. It was always going to be you, Bernard. So this here, this is Betty's husband. And we had to put you in, Bernard. You can't have a Betty without a Bernard. That's what I always say. And he's looking very good, is Bernard. He's got his flannel shirt on. He's got the jeans and the big boots. Now in terms of his beard, we do like our Bernards having great big bushy beards. Alas, we can't do that in Shelter 2. That is as beardy as Bernard can be right now, unfortunately. I'd like him to be significantly beardier. But yes, we can't sort of change that. That's the maximum beardiness right now. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully as we play, that will grow. Because, you know, that's kind of how beards work and such. And, you know, given that it's the apocalypse... I'd like to think that shaving supplies are in relatively short supply. So yeah, maybe, maybe the beard will grow and we will see Bernard with a big old huge beard going on. But there we go. I think he looks very good anyway. Now, in terms of what we want Bernard to do, Bernard is going to be a sort of a melee fighter and also someone who goes out into the waste and scavenges and picks things up. So he's got a strength of five, which is quite good. So that increases his carry capacity and then his unarmed damage goes up. And because his strength is five, it means he can sort of have a greater choice of melee weapons. Dexterity of two is a little bit low. So he's not going to be sort of dodging attacks. He might not get that many turns, but hopefully when he does hit, he can hit quite hard because, you know, he's got quite high strength. Charisma of two, not brilliant, but, you know, that's kind of not really his thing. A perception of four. We want that to be quite high because that determines how many items are located when searching, which is what he's going to be doing a lot of. Intelligence of two is not brilliant, to be fair. So maybe we just make sure that he doesn't make anything. And then fortitude of three, that's about as high as we could get it. Now that's important because that does kind of, you know, it does impact your maximum health and radiation resistance. And of course, he's going to be up on the surface quite a bit. So hopefully that's high enough. And then in terms of traits, they're slightly different for the faction members. You don't get fancy ones like you do for the leader. So yeah, we've picked optimistic. We've picked, up, picked optimistic for Bernard. I like the sound of that. An optimistic outlook on life helps reduce the amount of time spent feeling negative. Why be down when you can be happy? So that sounds wonderful. You know, big bearded Bernard is all upbeat and jolly about things. So there we go. So Bernard is faction member number one. And our second faction member is Barbara Biscuits, because of course you can't have tea without biscuits. So there she is. There is Barbara Biscuits. Um, in terms of appearance, she's looking very good. She's got the big boots on. She's got some plain jeans. She has on a pink tank top. And very importantly, she does have a hat. I mean, it's not as good as the cowboy hat that Betty has, but it's a hat nonetheless. So well done, Barbara. Now, in terms of her stats, I'm seeing her as somebody who stays behind at the bunker and does a lot of the crafting work. She's going to be the kind of, you know, the brains behind the operation. So a strength of two, so that's sort of okay. I don't really see her doing much carrying of items or doing any melee fighting. Dexterity of two, again, that's not really brilliant, but we can't really do much about it. Charisma of three, I put that up a tiny bit just in case she was behind at the bunker and some people came round, so we might be able to sort of you know, woo them over a bit. Perception of two, that's not wonderful. Intelligence of five, that is as much as we can have at the start right now. Look, so even though I've got points to spend, I can't increase that. So that's maxed out right now. So hopefully she can make some really good objects. 
the integrity of things she makes are going to be good and the quality is going to be higher. So she's going to be the person that's going to do a lot of crafting for us. And Fortitude is on four because that seems quite handy. You know, if she can get back from illnesses a bit quicker, that's a good thing. So yeah, that's her kind of stat setup. And in terms of traits, she's got hands-on. Measure twice, cut once. Items will be repaired or constructed faster if you are hands-on. Craft and fix faster. So I think that's done. So there we go. Say hi everyone to Barbara Biscuits. And with that done, I think the keepers of the tea are ready to go. However, just before we dive in, can we just take a moment to appreciate Betty's stance here? Look at that. Betty is looking very, very good indeed. She really does mean business. Okay, right, here we go. Let's go to the bunker and see what's going on. 20 arduous years have passed since the world ended. Six rival factions now dominate the wasteland, fighting over resources and territory. A new faction has emerged to try and take control. We join this faction as their leader has just discovered the perfect place for their headquarters, an abandoned underground shelter. Okay, so there are six other factions and us, or are we one of the six? I don't know. But there we go, and look at this day one. It all looks very familiar. Right, hang on. Pause time for a second, and I can happily confirm that spacebar is pause. So here we go. Welcome to Shelter 2. I mean, you know, on the face of it, it looks very similar to Shelter, but it just looks far better, doesn't it? It's not pixely, it looks very nice. And we do get a better look at the surface. So if we just sort of go up here, look at that. We get a fancy kind of angle change of the camera. So we can go and look at what's on the surface. There's a fallen tree, there's some junk, there's various other bits and bobs. There's some, uh, what's that, rubble, so some concrete or whatever. There's the hatch. There is a little sort of growing spot. And uh, there's some of our things. There's the water collector. And there probably is a, what's that? It's the air filter, isn't it? It's the oxygen filter. The integrity of that is not looking great, is it? That's not looking good. Hang on, what is the integrity of all of these things? That uh, That's also looking a little bit rickety. Okay, maybe we need to send somebody up to fix those up there. Okay, right, so there we go. So that's what we've got going up on the surface. And then, yeah, I, I like this. I do like that. Tilts back down, and then you look at your bunker, which does look very nice. I like this. So here we go. Let's take a look at the bunker. And yeah, look. It just looks all lovely and detailed. So it doesn't look like we have much right now. We've got the workbench. We've got the water purifier. Very important thing. We'll come to that in a second. Um, we've got a radio. We have ourselves the drafting table. We've got water barrel things over there. Uh, we'll come to that in a second. We've got medicine cabinet. We've got a little pantry thing. Some storage. We've got a locker. And we have the generator. And then we have a little bit of something down here, but not too much. So we haven't got, I notice, any basic facilities like beds or toilets or showers or anything like that. Right, okay. So let's have a look at people's stats. So here we go. So here is Betty looking amazing. So, okay, people need to eat. They have thirst. They have tiredness. They need the loo. They need to have a shower. And then, yes, they have various other things at the bottom here. Okay, so basic things are shower, toilet, sleep, water, food. Okay, so we can do water. We'll come to that in a second. Uh, and we'll do food. But yeah, we haven't got any of these things. Okay, right, that's a little bit of an issue. Now, yes, in terms of this here, in terms of our water purifier, Betty is very clever. Oh, she's very clever, is Betty. It's the hat, I think. Um, so yeah, she's you know, decided, given that we are representing the keepers of the tea, she's done something very clever with the uh, with the water purifier here. So rainwater comes down and it comes into here. It goes into wherever the thingamajig is. Is that it there? Is that the water thing? Yeah, the water collector. So the water comes in and what you can't see is somewhere over here, somewhere, yeah, you know, around here somewhere, there's a very, very special device that Betty has made, which actually turns the water into tea. So everything that refers to water, I mean, it is water, but it's, you know, tea, because tea is you know, mostly water. So everything that refers to water is actually referring to some lovely, lovely tea. And when we get barrels of water, we sort of pour it through the special tea filter and it turns it into tea. So the water purifier makes tea. And these barrels here, it says water barrel. They're not full of water. It's full of lovely tea. Of course it is, because we are the keepers of the tea. So there we go. So we've got loads of tea around, which is very good. Now, what do we have? 48 water, 70 food, only four fuel. Ah, right. That's not going to get as far, is it? So how full is the generator? The generator's looking okay. Right. Okay. So who can go and fix things? Barbara. Okay, Barbara. Can you go up here and fix this, please? So, I mean, in terms of how it works, it's relatively straightforward. You right click and then you tell them to do some stuff. So, Barbara, get up there and repair that, please. That will be wonderful. And then maybe, maybe we send you two out on a bit of a mission and we leave Barbara here. Now, hang on. Can we see what we've got? Can we see what we have? What are our sort of resources right now? I'm not entirely sure what stuff we have. What's that? Well, that's a little sort of log. 
Oh, that's quite nice. Um, yeah, can we see what we've got? We've got a clipboard. Okay, the clipboard lets you control stuff. Ah, right, okay, yes. Um, yeah, you can tell people to sort of, you know, go and eat and drink and stuff automatically, but you can adjust when. So you can say, okay, I want people to go to, at the moment, everyone's going to go and do something when their sort of uh, meters are at 75%. So when people are very hungry, they're going to go and drink. When they're very thirsty, they're going to go and eat and all that kind of stuff. Whichever way around, I've probably got that wrong. But whatever, you know what I mean. 75% of the way through their sort of, through their needs, they're going to go and sort them out. I would like, actually, how about we say 50% for sleeping. Let's make sure people aren't tired because that's bad. If you get tired, you get grumpy, you get irritable. So yeah, let's do that. And also on drinking as well because we're going to be drinking tea and that's what we do so there we go so we can all drink that now yeah there, there will be some questions about the showering won't there because we turn all the water into tea we shower in tea that's fine we just we shower in tea uh, there is a special uh thing for the toilet we, we don't we don't use the the tea in the toilet that would be bad and weird <laughs> so no, we don't do that um yeah that puts room information on so we can see what's going on that room is very cold perhaps some sort of heater in that room would not be a bad thing um but yeah i don't know how can we see how can we see what we actually have in storage? I do not know. Unless we need somebody to actually go and have a nosy at this. Do we need somebody to go and look at this? Ah, open storage. Ah, there we go. Right, so what do we have? Uh, we've got a bit of animal fat. We've got some broccoli seeds. Ah, we might want to go and plant those. A couple of buckets. Got some light bulbs. Got knuckle dusters. Okay. Got some limestone. Got some metal. Very handy. 30 lots of nails. Oh my goodness me. That's so many nails. They will go by in an instant. Uh, a little bit of nylon. We've got some passion flowers. Okay, that's nice. We've got yellow jasmine. Okay, we could make some tea with that. Lovely. We've got some wool. We've got a little amount of wood. Not as much wood as I thought we might have. Some wiring. We've got some sand. We've got some rock. We've got a few pipes and we have four fuel. Yeah, that's, that's not very much, is it? We're not going to be able to make much. So I think we might need to go on a little bit of a uh, a little bit of an expedition. However, do we want people to just grab food and water first? I think we might. So drink some water and you go and have a drink of water. So those two can go and have a drink because they're going to go a one drink. Food storage at max. Yeah, so we'll get you to drink and then we'll get you to eat. So there you go. Right. So your things have come right down. Very handy. And then, yeah, pop over to here. Uh, open the pantry. Let's prepare rations. Ooh, oh, I don't know what that does. What does that do? Hang on, let's just press a button. We get eight rations. Uh, yeah, okay, do that, because I don't know what it does. So there we go. You go and do that. And in the meantime, you can then go and open the pantry. And um, yeah, okay. Ah, yeah, now the pantry, actually, food degrades. Food goes off. I imagine the food in the tins is going to remain around for a while. But yes, the temperature of the room will affect the rate at which your food degrades. So if it's cold, obviously it's going to be a little bit more refrigerated. If the room is warm, it's going to fall apart a bit quicker. Um, how about then we just eat that particular thing there? So let's just get your food sorted as well. Everything else seems okay. Right, he just made some rations. Okay, so open the pantry. Is that what they are? Travel rations. Oh, oh, that's quite handy. Right, okay, well, you eat a proper thing for now. When I say a proper thing, it's, a, it's, it's soup. It's soup. Look how they get little plates out. Oh, that's quite nice. There we go. Have you finished your job? No, she hasn't quite finished yet. Right. Hang on a second, you two. Hang on a second. Um, let us set up an expedition. Actually, can we view the map? I don't imagine we can see much right now. Yeah, so there's us. There's some space. Ah, there's a, um, there's a caravan over there. Maybe we should head toward that. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Uh, well, no, it's that one I click on. So set up an expedition. Okay, so here we go. I think this is sort of similar to what we had before. So, okay, Betty is going out with Bernard. Okay, so, ah, they like each other. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's very good. Betty and Bernard like each other. That's very convenient. Um, yeah, okay, so we'll send those out. So that's all fine. So, um, what's this? Passive inherent strength, backpack weight. Tri what are all these things here? What are all these things? Inspiring, welcoming, putting on a brave face. I don't know what these things are, but they look amazing. Are they all things that that Bernard has? He's got these passive kind of things going on. Oh, goodness me, Bernard, you're very good. Quick study. Oh, okay, I didn't realise you had exciting things going on. Um, and Betty has the crush windpipe attack. <laughs> and you can throw sand in people's faces. Wonderful stuff. Um, okay, so we'll take those two. And now we need to determine exactly uh, what is going with us. So I think, yeah, let's take some of those rations we just made. 
because that would make sense, wouldn't it, if I can find where they are. Is that them? Uh, no, that's limestone. Can't really eat that. <laughs> not quite as nourishing, I don't think. Um, can we not take the emergency rations? It doesn't seem... I can't see them anywhere. Um, hang on. Maybe we don't need them for a short journey or something. I don't know. Uh, right, hang on. So we could equip a knuckle duster with Bernard. Because Bernard is, Bernard is fighty. He's you know, up in your face, having a fight, melee kind of stuff going on. Um, I don't think we've got any bags or anything, have we? So how about we take ourselves a healing kit, just in case, just in case we get a bit of damage, and we'll take a bit of food as well. To take one bit, in fact, take two bits of food, just to do some trading, possibly, if we happen across some people. And that might be it. I thought that was toilet roll then. It's bandages. <laughs> okay. Um, Anti-venom, my goodness me. What's that purple thing? Anti, anti emetic medication which relieves uh, relieves the feeling of nausea. Oh, oh, well, my goodness me, there are all sorts of things. Antidepressants, wow, antibiotics. Okay, lots of anti things up there. Um, anti radiation tablets, probably quite important. Um, yeah, okay, I don't know where the um, I don't know where the travel rations are. Given that they're going travelling, you thought maybe they would uh, they would appear in this list, but never mind, never mind. Um, hopefully they can be back quickly. He says, not entirely convinced by that. Um, do you know what? It's fine. We'll send them out. It's all good. And now you just sort of plot the route around. So you can say, no, we need to explore because we don't know what's going on. Um, ah, there we go. Travel rations. There we go. Right. So if we can just have a few of these, just go, there you go. We'll just take, I don't know, 20 of those. Take 20 of those. Oh, hang on. Maybe just take 10 because they're quite heavy. There we go. We'll take 10 of those. And uh, yeah, you can sort of go, okay, we'll start here. And we'll go to there, and then we'll go to there, and then we'll explore this. Searchable locations. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. So yes, a little sort of a, sort of a thing will appear in magnifying glass. Oh, you want to search there. And then we'll go there, then we'll go there, then we'll go there, and then we'll come home. So we're only out for nine hours. So I think it says there we only need two travel rations. Two out of two required. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, hang on, automatic. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right. So when they go out, they take travel rations. Ah, oh, that's clever. That makes sense. And we just made a few more of those. Okay, right. That's very handy. So there we go. You two, let's go on a little bit of a wander around the ways. What fun we shall have. Okay, so next. And everything's paused right now. So these two are going to clear off. And how are you doing up on the surface? Right. You fix that, which is very handy. So now can you go and just repair that whilst we're here? Because yeah, the oxygen filter is also quite important. And they are leaving the shelter and having a wander. Right, let's put it onto, uh, onto quick mode for now. So you can go and sort that out. Now, what can you do with this? Can you go and gather that? Right, salvage a fallen tree. How is this going to work exactly? Let's have a quick look, shall we? So you're just going to chop at it. And we got four bits of, bits of wood, four logs. Okay. Do we need to process the logs? Can be recycled. Okay, that's fine. Hang on a second. Hang on. Can we do any more stuff? Weather vane. I want to keep that. Um, salvage that rubble. See, wood is going to be really useful, isn't it? Pile of bricks. Um, yeah, can we get that stump, do you think? Or is there another tree somewhere? Um, we got from there some cement, some metal, and some scrap. Okay, all good stuff. And then, yeah, let's try and get that tree stump as well. That could be really handy. So you chop at chop at that. And we got some more logs. Okay. Right, so now I think... Hang on a second. Hang on. Barbara. Which one of these allows us to recycle? Th there we go. Right, the workbench allows us to recycle things. Now, I think in the original, we couldn't do this straight off, could we? We had to build the recycler to recycle things. But now we have it straight here. So, yeah, if we go... Okay, there we go. Put those things in. Turn those logs into proper useful bits of wood. Okay, what happens if we put the scrap pile in? We get nails and some metal shavings and a spring. Ah, springs are very important. What if we just put metal in? It doesn't do anything at all. It turns into metal shavings, which would make sense. I put a pipe in, that turns into metal shavings. Light bulb just becomes broken glass. We might want to keep the light bulbs. They're quite useful. And wiring, we'll keep that as well. Yeah, okay. Recycle those then. So I think... That means she is now going to do some recycling. She's going to dismantle two lots of things, which is all very good. So now we just need to wait for the exploration team to report back, and we'll see what they're up to. So here we go. Are they doing something? Ah, look at that. They're searching a location. 
this is very good. This is very promising indeed. And there we go, right, she's finished. So can we now get you, Barbara? Um, can you craft something? Here we go, so this is the crafting thing. A mop and bucket is going to be useful. Very basic, very straightforward, but yeah, we do need to get some cleaning stuff in. So yeah, ooh, ooh, that could be handy. An incinerator generates fuel by burning items. That could be useful. And a snare trap could be handy as well. That could be useful for catching some animals and getting food. Okay, we can't build tier two, tier three, or tier four things yet. Um, okay, how about beds? How about beds? Ah, there, a cot. Okay, we can get some simple beds and we can get one by the look of it. Okay, <laughs> one bed. Can we get, that's a toilet. Ah, we can get a toilet. We can't get a shower, unfortunately, because we don't have any valves. Hopefully we'll find some valves on our travels. Um, a sink, that's very fancy. A planter on the inside, very good. Medicine cabinet, crate for storage, surface planter, and a stove. Okay, I think we have a stove, hang on. We want to make that anyway, so make one of those, please. Um, yes, and the integrity of crafted objects is dictated by the intelligence of the crafter. Yeah, now that's quite good, because she is very good. Oh, hang on, we need to place this down first. Um, let's put it... Um, can we put it there? No. Can we put it there? No. I don't want to put it all the way over here. Can we just tuck it right next to there? Can it fit there? Can it fit there? No. Fine, we'll put it over here on the other side of the generator if that's where it needs to go. Right, so then she's going to go and craft that, which is very good. They're still searching. Okay, so they're still working their way through. And I think as well, what we'll do is, now you're done. Oh, plus 20 intelligence experience. Uh, go and give the shelter a bit of a scrub. I notice there are some some uh, some tins on the floor down there. Did they really just chuck their tins on the floor? You don't need to mop the tins. <laughs> Barbie, just pick them up in the bin. <laughs> You don't need to mop a tin. That's not how it works. Right, okay. They're going to finish that location, right? They need some help. Okay. What is going on? They finished searching that location. Oh. Oh, hang on. There's a thing. There's a thing over there. Look. There's a there's a thing with a flag in it. Okay. Okay, right. There's an enemy base over there. They're up on the surface. We're under the ground. But yeah, that's uh they're a little bit close, aren't they? They're quite nearby. Okay, right. What have you found? Okay, so what have you got? Oh my goodness me, you found a bajillion things. Um, right, okay, What what's going to be useful? Ooh, gold scrap. Oh, that's got to be a good thing. Yeah, we'll take a bit of that. Right, a knife, that's kind of handy. Oh my word, right, rope could be useful. Nylon could be useful. What are we on? 13.6 weight. Um, we'll have some scrap, because that's always useful. Um, splinter crate... That could be recycled into wood, I imagine. We'll take a bit of food. Ah, right, there we go. A transistor. That looks handy. Bits of uh, bits of wiring. We'll take that. We'll take some wood. We'll take some string. Ah, plastic. Here we go. Give us all the plastic and all the metal, please. Oh, and a circuit board. That could be handy. Broken wooden tuck fuel. Hang on. Hang on. Petrol can full of petrol. Full of petrol. Right, hang on. We're going to have to sacrifice some things. Oh, no. <laughs> already we're having to get rid of things okay that thing can go away don't take two crates the fuel is way more important okay two lots of fuel what can we drop to get more fuel oh there's so many useful things we've got we've got an amount of wood we've got an amount of wood so that's going to be fine so yeah pick up we still can't pick that up okay we might need to leave a bit of fuel behind which is unfortunate but we have got four lots of it so how about we pick up some smaller things? A fuse can't be doing much. Fuses can't weigh much at all. Um, some rubber, we'll pick that up. What's that? A popped yoga ball. <laughs> oh no. Right, okay, we could recycle that. Pipes. That could mean we could make some more beds. That could be useful. And then, yeah, broken broken things. A broken games console. It is the saddest of all the things. Um, beginner logic. That grants intelligence experience to anyone with an intelligence level of 1 to 5. Oh, okay. Can we take that? I think we can. And then what have we got? What is that? 4.9? No, 3.9. 3.9 in, in, in Mass with Penge. Um, coal, bit of leather. Uh, what's that? A paint can. That's way too heavy. Bit of wood is... We could pick up one bit of wood. Uh, shotgun ammo. Maybe we should not turn down shotgun ammo. It's a tiny, tiny weight. Uh, and, okay, a bit of nylon. You can, we can pick that up. Um, okay, 
So yeah, we can pick up something very, very small. I think maybe a piece of wood is about all we can get. Hang on, a bit of leather, that might be okay. And I think that is now it. That is our lot. Yeah, I think it's in red. When we can't pick it up, I think it goes to red. Uh, yeah, that's quite handy, look. So it tells us what we can pick up and what we can't pick up. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Confirm that. And now I think they're just going to come home again, aren't they? So yeah, explore over there and see if you can find any of the useful locations in this direction. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, right. Good job. They can carry on doing that. You can carry on doing some mopping. Now, what do you want to get you to do afterwards? I think a bed. A bed is going to be very handy. However, you are going to do some more cleaning. Ah, are you going over there? That You might be mopping up over there a little bit. Okay, a little bit of cleaning and splendid. Right, where are you going now? You're just going to have a wander down here. I mean, there isn't much down here. It's a little bit, it's a little bit grim down here. Maybe you could make a light. That could be handy. Hang on. Does it tell us if it's dark? Um, there's 10% light and it's a bit cold. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we should craft some sort of light bulb. Uh, we're lacking plastic. Ah, we're bringing back plastic though, aren't we? That's quite handy. Um, okay. Let's get, let's get a bed made. Let's get one bed. Pop the bed. Uh, why can't, why can't we place the bed? Is it because you're standing there? Can you go, can you go over there, Barbara? Uh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Barbara, can you move out of the way? <laughs> Barbara, go over there. I don't think I can place the bed because you're in the way, Barbara. No, not going to do that. Do you know what, Barbara? You need to have a bit of a... You need to drink some water. And is it shift to queue things up? Open pantry and eat some food. Yes, it looks like that's queued up. Okay, right. Speed time on. And you have drink and you have some food. Very nice. Right, Barbara, you've just you've just spent the, a little while cleaning up. Go Go and clean that up again. Pick up your <laughs> pick up your litter and put it in the bin. It will help a great deal. Right, here we go. Take all of that stuff. We can't carry all of that. Oh no. Oh, this is a disaster. We haven't got enough storage space. <laughs> um Bother. Okay, we're gonna have to leave some things behind. Oh no. The fuel right, we have to have the fuel. We really have to have the fuel. We might need to sacrifice some wood. Does it go up onto the surface? Like it always used to. Oh no, we can't take any of this stuff. Right, hang on. Take everything we can. Take all of that, very important. So some wood and some fuel have been left behind. Okay, so confirm that. Right, you, can you go and refill the generator? So you just go and add some fuel. That's all very good. And Betty, you just sort of stand there and look awesome. You stand there and look amazing, Betty. That's your job right now. Um, do you know what, actually? After you've finished, can you have a chat? Have a chat with... Can you do that? Can we tell you to have a chat? No. It doesn't look like you can tell them to go and have a chat directly. I think they just, you know, have banter between them, as it were. Okay, right. So the generator is nice and full, which is very handy. Oh, hang on. Hang on. That was the integrity I was looking at, I think. Hang on. Hang on. Bernard, can you, can you go and do that? 1.8 out of 5. Can you repair the thing, please, Bernard? Go and repair that. That would be good. And then, yeah, why are we just standing down here? Why can't we craft a thing? Craft a, a bed. Craft a bed. But we can't put it down. It's because someone stood there. That's a little bit irritating, isn't it? Right, pop a bed just there, please. And we need that done because people are tired. So if you could go and make a bed, that would be wonderful. You can go and fix that. Betty, just you know, stand there for a bit. Right, and then we want you to also craft a light because that is going to be very handy indeed. So there you go. Get the light sorted out. And Betty, do you know what? You can have a sleep. You go and have the first sleep in our wonderful new luxury bed, <laughs> which has been installed with a light right over your face. <laughs> Sorry about that, Betty. Didn't kind of think of that. Never mind. Okay, so things are looking very good. We've got a bed. So now we need to dig this out, I think. So if I remember rightly, that is in here. Craft object. There, a dirt room. Um, yeah, does that mean we can make... Oh, it doesn't do the red board with things we can't make. Yeah, we can't make, like, a desk fan and stuff. Um, okay, let's get a dirt room. And we can only build these one at a time as well. It's a little bit slower to build things. But yeah, okay, so there we go. Get that done. A wheelbarrow magically appears. But okay, you're fixing that. Right, so that's nice and repaired. Bernard has fixed the generator. It's got... Uh, what have we got in there, though? 1.3. 77 out of 5. I mean, yeah, can we can we add fuel? Can we add fuel to that? That would make sense. What happens when we pour it in? 
1.77 goes up to 2.77. Oh, okay. Well, why don't we just add more? Why don't we just add all the fuel we've got and it'll keep going for a long while? So yeah, just, there we go. Wonderful. And then clean. What does that do? Do we just give the generator a scrub? Does it need cleaning? <laughs> so it's very important to have a clean generator. Okay, there we go. Right, now, is there anything on the surface? Have we put that stuff in a box on the surface like we used to in the original? Um, it's a bit dark up on the surface. I can't really see because it's two in the morning. Okay, let's come back down. Um, I don't think you need to do anything right now. How are you doing for drink and stuff? You're tired. You could do with going to the loo and you could do with having a wash. Um, okay, there we go. And then that room's done. That room is done. So how about, can we make at least one of these? We can make a toilet. Do you know what? Let's do it. Wonderful. We'll put it as far away from the, uh, <laughs> as far away from the bed as we can. Because that's a little bit strange. But yeah, we'll get ourselves a toilet. And Betty is going to wake up soon. Apparently she's in the dark. I, I I dispute this, Betty. Unless it means because you've got your eyes shut. There's a light bulb right above your face, Betty. That is very much not dark. There we go. So Bernard just sort of hanging around. Right, Betty is going, yay, I've had a nice night's sleep. Barbara, however, is, is desperately tired. In fact, I think she's automated. Oh, hang on. Betty and Bernard are having a bit of a row, are they? Are they having a row? So Betty's saying TV is great, and Bernard's saying TV is rubbish, because we don't have them anymore, <laughs> because the, the, the output's gone down recently since the end of the world. Um, well, there you go. How intriguing. I didn't realise that was, that was a thing. I thought everyone that spoke to Betty was supposed to get a mood boost. That hasn't worked, has it? Hang on, Barbara. There's a bed there. Go and sleep in the bed, can't you? I thought it said automated. Tiredness was automated. Yeah, you have a sleep. Right, do you know what? You nip to the loo whilst we're here. You might as well. <laughs> there you go. So you nip to the loo. And um, Betty, you know what? You might as well go as well. There we go. Splendid. Right, so they've had that sorted. Yeah, shower is going to be a problem, isn't it? I mean, can we just make a very basic sort of bucket shower type thing? Hang on. Hang on. Who is the best out of you two? Uh, stats. Right. Intelligence for... Oh, Betty. Betty is very, very good at doing that kind of stuff. And um, Bernard, not so much. Okay, Betty, can you do some crafting, please? Can you go and craft? Can we have just a basic shower? I think that is the basic shower. We need a valve. Where do we get a valve from? I think everything else is okay. I just think, yeah, we need a valve. An incinerator would be useful. That needs a valve as well and hinges. Um, a table and chair. A table and chair. Oh, that's nice. People will automatically eat at a table if there is a free chair when they go to eat. Oh, that's quite nice. And then you've got <laughs> a treadmill. <laughs> All these basic things like a mop and bucket, like a really basic shower, a really basic toilet, a great big you know, plastic water bottle thing. And then you've got a treadmill. <laughs> What's going on with that? Come on, Peloton, you can do it. Um, okay, that's a bit weird. A keg burner. That could be handy. But it's only useful for small rooms. Because you can now partition rooms away. You can sort of do partitioning of rooms to make rooms colder for food storage and warmer for everything else. So that could be quite useful. Um, okay, how about... How about... Have we got a... Hang on. Have we got a stove? Um, no, we haven't, have we? They're just eating the food from there. I was thinking we could catch an animal up on the surface. But, um, but yeah, we haven't got any means of cooking it quite yet. Um, okay, okay. Right, hang on. Betty... Can we do anything else? Can we recycle any more things? Oh, yes, we can. Hang on a minute. There's some scrap there that we could recycle. Okay. Recycle that, please. That could be useful. So you go and do that. She's going to have a sleep. And Bernard? Not entirely sure what you're going to get up to, Bernard. It'd be nice if we could go and find that stuff that we couldn't store and go and get it. Oh, there's a bunny rabbit. Hello, bunny rabbit. We shall call you tomorrow's breakfast. Um. Okay, right. We might have to we might have to possibly catch the rabbit at some point. Also, also, oh, have you done the recycling? Good job, Betty. Good job. Um, yes, it is getting light. So can we see where there are? Oh, what's that? It's a junk pile. So that stuff we bought back, do we, does it just evaporate into the into the ether? The stuff that we couldn't store? Because in Sheltered, there was a box we put stuff in. But now it does not look like that is the case. Okay, what we need to do is... What we need to do, Betty. We need some more storage. That's exactly what we need. Crafters, some boxes, please. Can we have um, a crate? 
Yes. £250 of stuff, please. Um, let's pop that right into that corner. So pop that right over there as far away as we can go. So do that, please. Um, yeah, get that done nice and quick because we need the storage space. So there we go. Hit it here. How's the fuel looking? 3.6 fuel in the generator. It's looking good. Right, so storage space goes up. That is very good. So now, Betty, can we get you to maybe build us... Oh, we haven't got enough wood now. Oh, bother. Okay, I was thinking maybe we get a table and chair and we can eat at a table and chair, which just sounds very luxurious. But maybe, do you know what we might need to do? We might need you to go out again because we need a valve. We need a valve so we can get a shower built. So you two, it might be time to go on another expedition. Hooray, we can go out again. Um, not Barbara. Uh, it's Betty and Bernard. Oh, Bernard's too tired. Oh, okay. Right, hang on. It's fine. We'll, we'll wait. It's okay. We'll just chill out in the bunker for a bit. It's all good. It's all good. We just have a little sit down. Right, so she gets up. I think Bernard is literally... <laughs> he's just like, I'm really tired. Move out of the way, Barbara. I'm very sleepy. Okay, Bernard is asleep. Um, okay, Betty is busy doing nothing. Do you know what, Betty? Have a drink and open the pantry and eat some food, please. That would be handy. And how are you doing? You are also in need of that as well. Oh, and it's pouring with rain. Our water is topping up. This is very good. This is good news. Okay, let's have a look at the rain effects, actually. Oh, it looks it looks terrible out there. Some lovely nuclear water falling down. Um, okay, yeah, that looks that looks grim, doesn't it? Okay, fine. So they're having some food. Ah, yes, we have faction goals, don't we? If we click on our faction banner which I called a flag. Oh, no, Betty's got food poisoning. Oh, Betty. Oh, dear. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Have we got anything in there that could help? Antibiotics? Would that help? Hang on. Open medicine cabinet. Uh, okay. What helps with food poisoning? Um, that's mind. That's nausea. Ah, nausea. That's the level of radiation, not that anti-venom. It's definitely not that. It's not bandages. Uh, that's curing bleeding that's a splint that's a stimulant is it is it that that reduces the feeling of no ah, cures food poisoning it says there um yes use that please betty because we need you to be on good form we don't want you to be poorly you slope over to the thing there you go <laughs> feeling very sorry for yourself and have one of those there you go betty no longer has food poisoning um barbara's just sort of standing next to bernard watching him sleep we, yeah, that's fine. I mean, Betty's going to come and tell you off. You might want to move, Barbara. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? Why are you eyeing up my man while he's asleep? But okay, that's all fine. Um, yes, right. Do we need to do anything up on the surface? We've got the water collectors looking okay. And the auction foot is okay. Right, yes. Uh, this thing here, this banner. So we can click the banner. I called it a flag. Apparently it's a banner. You can click that. Uh, do we right click? Ah, goals. And then, yes, it, it sort of tells you various goals that we have. And then when we have these goals, I don't really know what happens, but we must get something nice for it. So, um, yeah, so if we do building 101, if we craft a bed, toilet, shower, stove and a room, and we've done three out of five of those, two are in lit up, I think we have done a room, um, then, yeah, we get that. That means we can craft tier two recipes. So we kind of have goals to achieve to then unlock more stuff later on. So, for example, if we make, if we uh, do this, if we tier one, hang on, tier one items crafted, Nought out of 25. Hang on, what? Oh, that's from the workbench. Ah, that's items crafted from the workbench. Okay, yeah, because you can craft things from the workbench as well. Um, oh, maybe. Hang on. Hang on a second. Hang on. Can we make a... Can we make a valve? Um, Barbara, can we do this? Can we craft a valve? Uh, yes, we can. <gasps> we can make a valve. Yes, Barbara, go make a valve. Then we can have a shower and everyone can have a wash and it shall be glorious. There we go, right. So a valve has been made and now I think we can go to craft object and we now need pipes because we used up the pipes. Oh, botherations. Okay, can we craft a pipe? Can we make a pipe? Uh, yes, no. We need metal shavings. However, we need four metal shavings. Okay, right, hang on. We can make this work. We're going to do this. Recycle items. That gives us... So one bit of metal turns into ten metal shavings. Okay, so recycle that. So here we go. Right, you do that. That's fine. 
Betty, while she's doing that, can you can you just give the place a bit of a scrub? That'd be nice. I know you're in charge, but you know, cleanliness is important. But hang on, hang on. Barbara, where have you gone? Your job is up here. Right, now I want you to craft. Um, hang on a minute, craft. Uh, what was it? Oh no, pipes, that was what we were making, wasn't it? So craft a pipe, please. There you go, make a pipe. And then, with the pipe and the valve you made, we can then use them to make a shower. Everyone can have a wash and it be brilliant. Although, to be fair, you could just go and stand outside. <laughs> just go and stand outside. That's not tea, though, is it? That's not tea. Um, okay, so she's done that. She keeps coming downstairs. Why do you keep going downstairs? So, craft us a shower. This is wonderful. Okay, shower next to the loo. That makes perfect sense. Just pop that there. And here we go. I think Betty should be cleaning up. You build that. Water storage at maximum capacity. That is what we like to see. Is it still pouring with rain? Yes, it is. It's been raining all day. Right, you go and get a drink of uh, of lovely tea. Because, of course, it's tea. I've been saying water. Water, tea, it, yeah, it's the same sort of thing. Uh, right, you can scrub that clean. And you've nearly finished the shower. This is huge. Okay, there we go. The shower is complete. You might as well use the loo. And then you can go in the shower. I will let you. you can have first dibs on the new shower because you just built it. And there we go. Okay, it feels a little bit weird that they we can see what they're doing with that sort of thing. We'll just let you do the showering. Okay, there we go. Right. Splendid stuff. You two have a chat and we just wait. I think we need to get everybody to have a shower now. I think everybody needs to go and have a wash because people are getting a little bit uh, a little bit grubby and grimy. So you take a shower. Um, you, however, you can fix things. You can repair that and you can... Ah, the toilet's okay. Repair the bed and fix the loo. That's fine. Here we go. Barbara's fixed the cot. And then we're just waiting for Bernard to jump in the shower quick. Right, Bernard, into the shower with you. You are smelly. There we go. Lovely. Right, everyone's had a shower. This is very good. This is working very well. And I think, is it st it's stopped raining, but we've got plenty of water. We've got a lot of water going on. Oh, this is very good. Okay. And it's coming up to day three three now. It's very cold outside. It's one degree outside. It's very chilly. So what I think we'll do is, there we go. We've got to day three. Medium dust storm on the surface. Um, yeah, it does look a little bit dusty. It's a little bit dusty out there. Maybe today is not the day to go exploring. Oh no. Oh no, who's arguing? <laughs> oh dear. Betty is saying music is brilliant, Bernard. And Bernard is saying boo away with music. Music is terrible. Bernard's not one for, he's not one for sort of, you know, media and stuff. Doesn't like TV, doesn't like music. Oh no, she's got proper sort of angry pointy finger at him. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, Barbara, can you just, then we can't tell them to move anywhere. <laughs> she's just sort of in the middle of this, of this sort of uh, marital dispute. Do you know what? It, it's fine. Barbara, you can extract yourself from this if you wish, or you can get involved. It's fine. I'm just going to leave them to it. Let's go and look at these. Oh, what a lovely generator. Um, okay, so yes, what we'll do is we will finish up for now because I think we've made a pretty good start. We've got the basics in, which is very good. In fact, hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, go to there. Goals. Is that done? We need to make a stove. So when we get a stove done, we can then start making some fancier tier two crafting things. That is very good. That's going to be very handy indeed. I mean, there's quite a lot of these. Oh my word, there's loads of these things. But okay, okay, so we're near to getting our very first faction goal as well, which is very handy. So yeah, we've kind of got most of the basics in. We just need a stove. We need some ability to start cooking things. And then maybe we do need to get another floor dug out, really, because everything is a little bit cramped, isn't it? Everything is a little bit kind of squished together. So I'd like a nice sort of storage area, a place to keep the food where it's not going to go off and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see what we can do with that next time out. But yeah, I think we've made a very good start and it's lovely to be back. It's very exciting to be back with Shelton and it's very lovely to meet our new people. I mean, you know, Betty and Bernard, new in this form, new in this alternate reality, but you know, we've seen them before. But yeah, lovely to meet Barbara as well. Hello, Barbara. I'm sorry that you're stuck with this sort of quarrelling cup here, but never mind, never mind. So yeah, we'll finish up for now, come back next time and see how we get on. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. I've really enjoyed this. It's been a lot of fun playing it. So hopefully it's been fun watching. If it has, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Shelter 2. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Let's throw that at you. That might get you. That's a beautiful shot. Oh, that's a, that, this is an unpleasant angle, Trish. Can you just fall in the water, please? 
This is this is this is the best box. This is my favourite box of the game so far. Oh no 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 no! It, it is hurting me. It's hurting me a lot. Very uh, interesting way of doing your medical examinations. What Who's examining who? 